Arduino Pro Mini, the brain of the system. One IR sensor for motion or object detection. The NPN5. Four, seven transistor, 4.7 K ohm resistor for stable voltage control. Vibration motor provides silent haptic feedback. Five volts buzzer gives an audio alert. 3.7 volts, Leon battery, powers the whole setup. For the glasses frame, I've selected a lightweight and high durability model that's built to last and ensures both comfort and strength. Now let's complete the soldering work for the IR sensor. Make sure all the solder joints are clean, solid, and properly connected for stable performance. After that, power up the sensor using an Arduino and adjust the sensitivity to the minimum level for accurate and stable readings. Now let's move on to the next important step. In this phase, we'll be attaching the IR sensor onto the Arduino Pro Mini. First, apply a small amount of hot glue on the Arduino board, just enough to securely hold the sensor in place. Be careful not to apply too much. After the sensor is fixed in position, we'll begin making the necessary electrical connections. Connect the VCC pin up to the VCC, which will supply power to the sensor. Next, connect the GND pin of the sensor to the GND pin on the Arduino. Connect the D out, data output, pin of the sensor to the A1 analog pin on the Arduino. To ensure a firm and lasting hold, we'll be using Feviquick. At this point, we'll be attaching the vibration sensor to the buzzer module. Now let's proceed to the final assembly stage of our project, or any reliable instant adhesive. Apply a small amount of glue at the point where the sensor and buzzer meet, and carefully press them together. Give it a few moments to set properly so the components don't shift during operation. Once the physical attachment is done, we move ahead to complete the soldering work for all components. Every component used in this project has been clearly shown and explained at the beginning of the video, so make sure to refer to that section if you need help identifying them. Now we'll connect all the components to the Arduino Pro Mini. Be sure to follow the connection layout exactly as I've done in the demonstration. Each wire and pin connection is crucial for proper operation. Make sure you double check the VCC, GND, and signal lines for correct placement. Once all connections are completed and verified, we'll move to the programming part. Connect the Arduino Pro Mini to your laptop or PC using an appropriate USB to serial converter. Then we'll upload the source code, which is written specifically to handle the sensor data and trigger the buzzer as needed. You can easily download the same code, it's available in the video description below. Just upload it using the Arduino IDE and your circuit will be fully functional. With that, the entire setup from component placement, soldering, wiring and code uploading will be complete. Now let's move ahead and work on the final integration of our circuit with the glasses frame. To begin with, we're going to use a small push button switch, which will serve as a manual control for powering the circuit on or off. This button will be connected directly between the VCC and GND pins of the Arduino Pro Mini. We'll secure all the components neatly onto the glasses frame. For this, we'll use a strong adhesive like Feviquick or a hot glue gun to mount each part carefully in place. It's important to be gentle here. We want the build to look clean and remain comfortable when worn. Make sure the Arduino, sensors, wires, switch and buzzer are all fixed in such a way that they don't stick out awkwardly or interfere with the user's vision or comfort. Try to place the components along the inner side of the glass is frame where they're less visible but still secure and accessible for maintenance. Once all individual parts are mounted, it's time to focus on assembling the full body. Carefully tuck in all the wires, double check each connection, and make sure nothing is loose. But once everything is properly in place, your smart glasses project will be fully assembled and ready for testing. Unlike normal blinking, where the eyes naturally blink every second or two, for example, if I don't blink for more than 3 to 4 seconds, the system immediately triggers the buzzer, alerting us that something might be wrong like drowsiness or fatigue. This kind of setup can be especially useful for applications like driver alert systems. So friends, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this project and explore more exciting electronics ideas and innovations. Until then, take care, stay creative, and keep learning.